Good evening, Lake Orion. Well, you can tell it's spring. You know why? It's track season. You know, it's freezing rain out still, right? I'm your host, and I am. Please hand me. He me. wants power! Yes, indeed, it's between tier meetups here on ONT. Toya Ball Champion! I'm your host, Anthony. Toya Ball Champion! Did you not take your medicine this morning? <laughs> You're a Toya Ball Champion! And you know it, I know it, even Bob Bridges knows it! Do Is he in jail? Do we have jail? to go Bob Bridges comment on this show? Bob Bridges and Bob down! I both think... need a bow down to me! Which, what? which Bob is what? in jail? What? Which Bob oh is currently incarcerated? Oh what? my gosh. Which Bob is in prison? All right, all Both right. of them! Oh. All right. Both Bobs? Huh. All right. So, how are you doing today? I'm hanging in there. How are I you doing? Get, I, had get my, I had to get my rants out of the way. God bless Mike Valenti. Chris, we know Chris Bell loves Mike Valenti. For years. Oh my yeah. For years, years, this guy. All right, let's this talk. Guy. I know. I mean, this has been since 1999 where Sammy's been humiliating a global scale. I've been telling him about Valenti probably uh, seven of those years. Mike Valenti's a winner you, now. I, I can't learned. believe you two are praising Mike Valenti. All right, anyways, let's talk about a good team that is dear to both of your hearts. That is the Detroit Tigers. <laughs> they got swept by the Cleveland Indians. Yeah! But you need the Baltimore. You need the hell, Chief Wahoo. Sam, you know why? Sam. Sam. A couple doors down, they're recording a voiceover. I guarantee through the walls and doors, you your need voice to is honor picking Chief up on their Wahoo. Mind. Here's why. Because the city of Cleveland, you love the city of Cleveland. Because, I hate it. And the city of Cleveland loves Ian Allen Weston. But I'm telling you right now, the Tigers, they're in deep trouble. Michael Fulmer gave up six earned runs against the Cleveland Indians, they're starting pitching. I mean, I'm telling you right now, this is a baseball team that's got some issues right now they have to address. You're aware in Cleveland that people tip pitches for the Indians batters when the Tigers are in town, right? <laughs> no, I am not aware for that. I cannot explain what happens to Justin Verlander or now he's in Houston. Balmer in Cleveland. I don't get it. You know, doesn't it feel like when it felt like a Justin Verlander type situation anytime he goes to Cleveland? It did. It did. The new ace, you know, had a great year so far. Goes to Cleveland, lets up seven or whatever earned runs, three innings. But Terrible. Does the, is the sweep against Cleveland very concerning? Um, yeah. From what perspective? Yes. From the perspective, you think the Tigers are going to make the playoffs or contend for the division? They ain't going to contempt for the division. So then it's not that concerning. They ain't going to contempt for the division, even though they got the right manager finally in place. I mean, this is a team that Al Avila has to go. He's got to blow this team up. He did that. He, what? Where have you Al been? Avila, what rock have you been Al under? Al Avila has to go. Why? Because. Let the man do his job. He is a loser. Because when you look at the word, if you want to have a contending team, you have to. To be competitive. That team is not competitive. So I'm telling you right now. They're young. They're rebuilding. Who cares we don't know it. Being young. <laughs> Who cares? You need to have a competitive team on the field. They are not competitive. They're better than the Royals. Sadly, unfortunately. They're better than the White Sox. Well, I think Chicago will pass in the standings, so don't worry. They might be better than the Rangers. Don't worry. I mean, they are better than Minnesota. They're better than Baltimore right they now. They are better than better Minnesota. Better than Tampa. They are better than Minnesota. We'll they're see. Not, they're not better than Minnesota. We'll see. Because some guy named Joe Maurer is starting to pick it up. Mm. And their Minnesota is playing the right amount of baseball that they bring them wins. And, of course, we know the Cleveland Indians. The Cleveland Indians, your team, is going to save us all and win. Save us from what? They're going to save us all from the tyranny of the city of Detroit. Oh, man. my I can't hear right now. <laughs> Why? My ears are ringing. Are you talking? I can't hear a thing. I don't know. 
so, uh, so you're saying the future of the Tigers is bleak. So, Ian, what's your future of the Tigers? Bright or bleak? I think bright eventually, but you got to give it time. Look at Candelario. That's a bright spot. He's 23 years old. How about Machado? He can, he can anchor third base for years. What about Machado? Machado, he might be a good depth player. He might not be your starter every every year, especially if you have a, a hot prospect. If you okay, have Ian when the Tigers go on a losing streak, Sunshine. Yeah. I mean, they're going to go on a big-time <laughs> wow, losing streak, and then they're going to What's big-time? Every team goes on a big-time losing streak. It's baseball. I play 162 gonna, games. They're going to lose 15 games in a row. You know why? They've been postponed they a couple times because of Mother Nature. They will not 15 games in and a row. You know what? Mother, you know what? Mother Speaking Nature. Of, hold up. Speaking of Mother Nature, uh, what's your take about Mother Nature not being a friend of the Tigers as of late? Both of you. Mother Nature hates Michigan in general. <laughs> well, we just got hit with freezing rain. We're supposed to get snow the day we're filming this. And then... They're nope. talking about it on the radio. They need to put a, a roof on Comerica, a retractable roof. Are One that just sure that a nice awning that just goes runs. How much money would it cost? Though? Runs it would across cost the about top. three hundred million dollars. Well, how much is Chris Illich worth? Five billion. Well, he can make it happen. Why would you think Chris Illich would do it? I don't know because he owns the team. <laughs> Chris Illich is a loser. He needs help. You know hey, what? hey, 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 I Ellis. hear Chris they watch Ellis. the show over in Bloomfield. Really? Uh, yeah. They you watch. might want to watch what you say about what? Mr. Pizza Pizza. Chris okay. Ellis needs help. Junior. He needs help how to run a team. Well, that, that may be so. He needs help how to run a team. Yeah, that might be true. Yeah, he needs psychological help how to run a team. And, of course, he he's needs no it. Michael. Huh? He's no Mike Illich. No, he's no Mike Illich. But I'm telling you right now, he needs to put some money in that team. Which one? Tigers? Yeah. That'd be nice. Put a roof on the stadium. They will not put a roof on the stadium. Put they some people a in retractable. Seats. A retractable. Put people right. in seats. But they should. I agree with you. They should have to have a retractable. Put you get something that slides seats. over you know how many, behind home plate. You guys you still know, get that nice You guys view. know how many fans, the Chicago White Sox and Tampa Bay um, right. Rays had? 864 fans, not even a thousand people. I mean, if you Why if you think about it, so much today. if you think about it here, Mother Nature is killing this sport right now. It is. Do you agree, Ian? I agree, which is why they also need to start it later, end it sooner, shorten the season. So, do you think? Do you they think they need to shorten cut? the season? Huh? Do you think they need to shorten it? Well, I think I think it's Mother Nature killing everybody right now. But do you think they should shorten the season? Answer Ian's question. No. No. Well, hmm. no. So you're arguing for so you're basically hmm. so you're saying to keep the season going long the longest. I end? think you put the northern teams to start the year south. You know what I mean? There are scheduling conflicts. There's scheduling. I know. I get it. But I mean, Texas has to play Houston twice. Right. Just kidding. They don't need to play in April. Right, they don't need to play in April. You know what I'm saying? Why not move the northern team? So you're just pretty much saying so. But okay. if you shorten the season, you alleviate a lot of trouble. You do. And you, really and, do. you know, that's too much fatigue for fans. Oh, I pay agree. for 81 games. Mm -hmm. that's, I agree. That's insane. I agree. Mm -hmm. Any final thoughts? We'll see what happens. I hope next segment we can talk. Okay, we'll All be right. right back to Between Ten Minutes on ON TV. The North Oakland Household Hazardous Waste Program kicks off its 2018 season with an event at Oxford Middle School on Saturday, April 28th from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Volunteers will be on hand to collect cleaners, paint, bleach, batteries, antifreeze, motor oil, electronics, and more. The event is free for residents of Lake Orion. Collection events will also take place at Oakland University on June 23rd North Sashaba Elementary School in Clarkston on July 28th, Oakland County Service Center Campus in Pontiac on September 8th, and Oakland Community College Highland Lakes Campus in Waterford on October 13th. For a complete list of acceptable items and other information, visit nohas.com or call their hotline at 248-858-5656. <laughs> Back 
the Between Tier Meetup here on ONTV. I'm your host, Anthony Tier Meetup. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Man, I had to um, put Ian in his place. Ian, how are you doing? I'm in my place. Okay. So let's talk about the NHL playoffs, ladies and gentlemen. What's your take about them? You know what's shocking me is the Vegas Golden Knights are in the second round. They only scored seven goals. It's Thomas Tatar not dressing, you know. Why would you that's, say it's Thomas the, Tatar not dressing? He's the moral support. Why would you say that? I'm just kidding. Uh, no, because here's why. Because the Vegas Golden Knights are because they benefited from everybody having to give up players and then, of course, doing well at the trade deadline. And then, of course, getting doing, a former Red Wing getting to, a former to be the head coach. Red Wing to be the head coach, getting the former. Um, doing it right. The, I mean, you know, the Vegas Golden Knights, they're doing very well. They got good goaltending in Mark Andre Fleury. <clears throat> And they're doing, they're benefiting because L.A. is a complete joke. <laughs> L.A. is a complete so joke. So you and I both agree that the Los Angeles Kings did not deserve to be in the playoffs. No. No. Who should have been in instead? Oh, that's the easy one for me. That's an easy one for me. St. Louis Blues? No. St. Louis is god off of the garbage. I mean, huh. but then again, if St. Louis would have got in, then... You could have played Vegas. Colorado right. Avalanche could have played Vegas. And I, I could have beat Vegas. I really. think Colorado could beat Vegas. You know, I but agree with you. They you have think to so? beat Vegas. Oh yeah, oh, I Vegas. think Colorado could beat Vegas. I agree about that. But I really do. But hmm. they're playing Nashville, arguably the defending Western Conference champions. They are the Western Conference. There's champs. no arguing about that one. Um, There's no arguing about Nashville's that. Nashville's legit. I know they're um, legit. They There's might no win the Stanley Cup. <laughs> I would say. They have a good shot. They got a great shot, but when you look at, but when you look at um, others, you got Pittsburgh and Philly right now. I think that's going to go seven games. That'd be nice. Um, I think Philly will knock off Pittsburgh. Um, oh my, that's then, a hot take. Uh huh. And then um, <laughs> Cindy Crosby. And then Columbus and Washington. I still can't believe Washington escaped with their lives or chin chin chins in overtime, double overtime. All those games have been overtime between Columbus and um, in Pit in. In Washington. Is and Washington the worst sports town in America? Yeah. As well, far as success? Despite Hype and success? The Capitals. Hype and results? The Capitals, Wizards. Um, the Nationals. The Nationals. Can't win a playoff series. Can't win a playoff series. You know, it's bad luck. Yeah. It's really bad you luck. You thought Detroit or Cleveland were bad luck. Well, Cleveland's pretty bad. No, they're not. Cleveland's good luck. Mm. Cleveland's got an NBA championship. What has Washington got? Mm, nothing. What is Washington? No, nothing. <clears throat> Are they going to get one this year with the Caps? No. Okay. Didn't because think so. I think Washington's going home by Columbus. I think Columbus is going to win Game Four, and then I think um, I it's think at it's two one right now. It's two one Columbus. Yeah. I think Columbus beats them in six. Whoa. So I Caps, are, Caps, Caps have one more game to win. Right. They have That's to win. They have to win. Wow. And then you look at Tampa Bay, New Jersey. Mm -hmm. You know, I still think it. Tampa Bay just doesn't impress me. They really don't. Number one, oh, number one seed, yeah. Yeah. Not impressed. No. It's because Eisenman's there, or you just don't like him. No, I just don't think they're impressive right now. You think who's better, Boston? I think Boston's better. Um, Philly. Philly, I think they can beat him. Hmm. Pittsburgh. No. So you're going with Coach Ceramic's belief about Philadelphia? Well, I think Philly's gonna get knocked off the next round. So after they beat Pittsburgh. After they beat Pittsburgh. So, and then, of course, you know, Boston. I, I wouldn't surprise me if the Stanley Cup final is Nashville against <laughs> Boston or Nashville against Tampa Bay. You just said Tampa's not that good. It now really they're wouldn't. going to the Stanley Cup finals? It really wouldn't surprise what? me. What? You know what? Is this like your master's pick? No. I like Spieth. Yeah, go ahead. Give me, a, give me Rory. You know what? You know what? I'll take VJ. You know what? VJ. You know what? In the NBA playoffs, you know what? I still believe it's going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers taking on the Houston Rockets. I still I believe hope it. It'd be something the Indiana Pacers took them out. Cleveland is not going to the finals. Why? They have you ever seen The Walking Dead? <laughs> I, I haven't seen the show, but when I watch Cleveland, that's what I think. You know, Joey. You know, Joey. Um, you know, Joey still believes. Joey still has faith in Cleveland. He does. I know, I, mean, I know Joey. They call and the him good James friends. for a reason. I know Joey on his podcast. Um, 
he, he, and the rest of them, um, the good guys, by the way, but the basketball podcast, the basketball podcasters, I are going to go into my belief. It's, it's going to be Cleveland and Houston. It's going to be the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Houston Rockets NBA Finals. I I can totally see Houston, for sure. Cleveland, I don't, I don't see it. Why? You think Toronto's better than them? No. Or you think Irving's not playing <sighs> for Boston? If they get Embiid back, I think Philly might be the the darling. <laughs> Philly? No. Yeah. Because yeah. all because Stan Van, all because Stan Van Gundy went on on Valenti's podcast. Not all because of that. Went no. on Valenti's radio show and said that that Philly was going to make playoffs. To me, I he think didn't say that. I think they have. Uh, I don't know. It's hard with Toronto. The only reason I say not Toronto is because of their history, not because of this year. But they are the North. They are the North. And they score a lot of points. So and they can outscore you all day. A little bit briefly. So you both think the Avalanche are going to lose to Preds? Yeah, we're frankly surprised they're where they're at. I got them. I got them losing in seven. Ooh, going to be a war. What's what? that now? Two one. Two one. Nashville. Preds. Yes, Ads got to win tonight against the Preds. If they win, it's two two. They lose, the series could be over in five or six. They're they're in Denver tonight, right? Yes. Abs beat them 5 3 in game three. Hmm. So. But we all agree the LA Kings got to blow up that team. They are done. And I think and another team that doesn't deserve to be in the playoffs, the Anaheim Ducks. They are a joke. The Anaheim Ducks are a freaking joke. You know why? Because here's why they're a joke. Because they're owned by Disney. They have, they're not owned by Disney. They're, they're, the reason why they're named that, they're a duck. Yeah, they're a loser. Flop. They're a losing you know team. Bit? I cannot stand Ryan Getzlaff. I cannot stand Corey Perry. I would, if I see those two guys, if I see those two guys, I hope, I hope Antoine Roussel cross-checks both of them and just punches them straight to death. That's how I feel about the Anaheim Ducks. And I'm not a huge fan of the San Jose Sharks either. You know what? The Dallas Stars. They're not a fan of the California hockey team. The Dallas Stars should be in the Pacific Division, back in the Pacific, where they would just own that division again, not in the Central. That the makes Central no may, sense. The yeah, Central that would. Maybe the best division in hockey. Mm-hmm. Central's been the best division in hockey. Sounds like Sam's a little weak. I'm not Wants weak. Has to beat up on the the little sisters of the poor while he can't hang with the big dogs. Are you a cute? Are, are you from Chicago? <laughs> You know what? I am not Louis? afraid of Chicago. <laughs> I'm not afraid of St. Louis. I am not afraid of Colorado. Sounds like you I know. am not afraid of Minnesota. Minnesota needs to bow down to that to their kings. Yeah. Minnesota is a sickening team. They're going to lose to Winnipeg. Yeah, I hope they lose to Winnipeg too. But they deserve to lose to Winnipeg. That's one. That's one common team that me and Sam can agree on is we both can't stand the Minnesota Wild. Hmm. No. I know you love the Wings. You hate the Wings. I didn't say I love the Wings. They're Ooh. dead. They're dead, dead, dead. You know, I know it. The whole world knows it. Rob Montgomery Bridges, you know it. I am enjoying that the Wings have been golfing the last two years, not made the playoffs. You know, I hear they're going to put a retractable roof. Little Caesar's mouth is going to open on top of the LCA. Oh, jeez. For nice night games. You know, you know, I'm right now golfing right now, and I know Bill Reese is real happy to hear about it. So is Bob Bridges. You think he Jim Neal and uh, Kenny Hollander are golfing together down no. in Dallas? No. Why not? The draft's in Dallas. Talking about the old days? No. You know the draft's in Dallas, right? So can you stay with Jim Nill? You know what? The NBA Finals, I still believe in Cleveland. I still believe in LeBron James. I still believe what in... What was his first name? LeBron James. Uh, I thought it was something else. <laughs> <laughs> I still believe. I still believe in the city of Cleveland. The city of Cleveland, you're fine right now. Don't press the panic button. We'll be right back between Terminus on ON TV. Hello Lake Orion, it's Anthony Terramina, co-host of Between Terraminas. I want to let you know of a new show called History Now. In it, we're going to talk about global, national, and political events that occur in our lifetime. We're going to also have guests and also have co-hosts as well, and also plenty of surprises. Catch us on History Now here on ONTV.
Hello, Oakland County. This is Sammy Termina talking away now. In it, we'll talk various stories from reigning from the state to Oakland County teams affecting the OAA. Catch us here on OAA Now. Welcome back to Between Terminas here on ON TV. I'm your host, Anthony Termina. Gentlemen, how are we doing? Shut up. <laughs> you shut up. We're almost done here. Let's go. Okay, so let's talk about both of your favorite teams, the Detroit Lions. <laughs> and what's your take about the Lions, in particular the schedule? It's going to come out in the next few days. Uh, projections are it's going to be a tough schedule. So what's your take about the schedule for the Lions? It's brutal. I mean, when I look at the NFC North, I think the, I think a couple teams have gotten better. Minnesota's gotten better. Um, Green Bay, you know, with Aaron Rodgers. I think Chicago's a team that's up and coming. But it's a difficult schedule, especially when you look at having to play New England, I believe, on that schedule. At home. At home. Um, and then you got to play. You still got to play. You got the Dolphins there. You got the Jets. Dolphins you got, in Miami. You Jets got, in Detroit. And you got Buffalo. In Buffalo. In Buffalo. It's not going to be easy. No. I mean, don't Lions play the Cowboys, too? Mm, yes, they play they Dallas. Do? They do play Dallas. Again? I think they play no, Dallas. I don't think they do. I could be wrong. It could be. But I think if this is a difficult schedule for the Lions because. They got to go, uh, or the, the Niners come in. They're right. They're going to be good. Yep. Rams. Yep. Think I think the LA Rams. I think the Rams are. I think the best team in the NFC right now. Well, the Rams won the off season. That's for sure. So yeah, they far. won the off season. So I'm looking at the off season shakeup they've made. I'm looking at the beard, my man. I'm looking mm -hmm. at the beard. You're okay. looking at Matt Patricia. What if Matt Patricia was truly the the <laughs> biggest acquisition of any team of the off season? What if he really is who he could supposedly be? From the well, remember, tree. a lot of people criticized Jim Caldwell. He deserved criticism. What about it? Yeah. He, he's a loser. So, so they brought in a new coach. They call his Caldwell name's Matt loser. Patricia. Yep. What do you think about Matt? What I mean, does he bring? Does he make this team a, a think, eleven and five team going off last year, or is the schedule well, that much tougher? They're going to be nine and seven again. First of all, I don't like to hire Jim Bob. Rehire Jim Bob Cooter. Yeah, well, yeah. Um, but I think he makes his defense a lot better. I mean, I think, you know, because he was a defensive line, a defensive junkie. Correct. So he makes the defensive line better. Right. He makes the... But it's a good defense makes the offense better. Not exactly. Uh, in football, sure does. But I'm telling you right now, when I look at that North Division, that yeah, North Division, yeah, it might be I don't think, I don't think they're going to... I don't, I don't think they're going to catch Minnesota. Um, I don't see Minnesota going 13-3 and three again. I think that's their ceiling. I think Chicago's going to get better. You know, they're only going up with Mitch Trubinsky. They got a new coach there. And then, of course, you have Aaron Rodgers. Who might not be too happy. Yeah, here he's not too happy because he lost Jordy Nelson. Well, because the Green Bay Packers are, like, very shrewd. Very shrewd. They don't mm -hmm. make splashy moves. I mean, they got Jimmy Graham this year. That's... That's a splashy move to me. That is. It's one of the first in a while that mm -hmm. they've, you know, done. Especially with Aaron Rodgers a tight end, right? You know, but I feel bad for players like Richard Rodgers, who, um, <coughs> who is not going to get a lot more playing time because of it. But, <laughs> but then again, Richard Rodgers is well known for what happened. At Would Fort you Hill. shut <laughs> up? <laughs> Hell, man, remember that? No. Yeah, we all do. So I'm telling you, Ian. I don't know if the Lions are going to be. The purple and when white, they ain't gonna beat Minnesota. I'm serious. Because you got a quarterback there named Captain Kirk Cousins who's gonna be throwing touchdowns. And then <laughs> okay, Ka you Kirk like Cousins that? Is, is not. You like that? Kirk Cousins. I like Kirk, but he's Kirk not. Cousins is a better quarterback than people give him credit for. And I think when you look at, I think all Michigan quarterbacks are better than Michigan quarterbacks, even all over Michigan Brady. You said all Michigan quarterbacks are better than Michigan quarterbacks? No, all Michigan State quarterbacks are okay. better than Michigan quarterbacks. Well, there might be another Michigan State quarterback starting this year in New England. Yeah. Brian Hoyer. Brian Hoyer. Brady's not coming back. Yes. 
Isn't that and lovely? Gronk's coming to Detroit, so. Yeah, I think Gronk will come to Detroit. I think if Gronk comes to Detroit, could you imagine? Then I think oh the Lions gosh. could catch Minnesota. Gronk puts them that Gronk much Gronk puts them ahead of Minnesota if that happens. Yep. You think so? Yes. Wow. Hmm. They got to get. They got to get. They got to hit some pieces in the draft. Yes. Yes, they do. That's only Which eight is never away. given. Eight days away. Well, we'll do another show before yes, then, will. probably. Yeah. Yeah, maybe probably. maybe the week after. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to talk about lines coming up. We will have to, yeah. Who are you calling out this week? How about you go first and call out? Calling out. Very this well. Is, yeah, uh, we're gonna bring it back. You know who I'm gonna out. call out this week? No. Joey. Joey. You know why? Here he is, Joey. I'm telling you right now, a basketball mind. Look in the mind, camera. I'm telling you right now, <laughs> you need to believe in the city of Cleveland. You need to believe that the city of Cleveland is for you and that the Cleveland Cavaliers are going to be are going to get back the NBA Finals who in the East threatens them not Toronto didn't Joey say all this not Toronto I thought Joey picked them to go to the finals you picked Cleveland did Joey did Joey I thought that's what you said said. (laughs) why are you calling him out then (laughs) well I I, I heard a rumor Joey believes that the Toronto Raptors are going to the finals so, ah, so yeah. I heard a rumor about that. So, just flipping Joey, and flopping. you know, and I know that Cleveland is going to the NBA Finals and taking on the Houston Rockets, who are going to take out the Golden State Warriors, and they're going to get there. It's going to be a great NBA Finals, and ratings worth the watch. Wow. Yep. Wow. And there's All no right. way you can't do worse than that. <laughs> All right. So. Okay, for some of you guys who know or who don't know, um, I'm going, I've been going on a personal journey. Um, <laughs> in 1996, I had a really good friend of mine leave the state, and I made a promise to him that we would see each other again. And now, 22 later, years later, we've come close. And um, <laughs> one of my goals this year is to keep my promise I made to him 22 years ago, which is to reconnect, see each other in person for the first time. I found out recently he's back in the state. And in fact, he's working not too far and I'm in Farmington. So my call out is directly to my friend. You know who you are. The ball's in your court. I I really want to do this. I really want to see you again. It's the first time in 22 years. Um, You know, it's been too long. It's been a long while. So, the ball's in your court. Love to see you. Uh, you know my email. You know my, you know my email. Let's set up a meeting. Hey, I'd love to see you. I miss you. And you know, ball's in your court. I want to see you. Let's make it happen. It's up to you if you want to do it. I got one more before we go off oh, here. Oh, for cripes' sake! Have you heard it? A big Superman called Super Down. Super down. Here's why. <laughs> and in his sidekick, Super Bridges. Here's why. <laughs> because those two need psychological help. They all need to bow down to Victory Green. And Victory Green will save us all. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, okay. So, what do you, well, uh, <laughs> at least At least those two cannot come on this show. And insult me. You are aware that one of the men came on the show two weeks ago and made sat here and insulted you for thirty minutes. You, and you deserved it. So you're trying I to I don't revenge. deserve it. I don't deserve any insult. I think we're getting the wrap I think up. We're getting the wrap, yeah. I think we really time to, are, yeah. To cut it. All right. Cut the well, that will do it for this episode of Between Terminas. We will catch you later. I'm gonna go ice my Have ears. Have a great night and see you soon, Lake Take care. <laughs>